Hey folks, I'm going on the hunt again. I've got my list. There's a shop doing a uh, five comics for a quid sale. So I am there to see what gorgeous things I can pick up. Hopefully lots uh, for cheap. Okay, I'm at Forest Hill Station. Apparently I could get a train to Penge West, then walk to Penge East, and then a train to Orpington. I've not been to this shop before, so hopefully uh, I won't get lost. Hopefully. So, after a long walk from Penge West to Penge East and left them to work out how to get over, this, over this, the railway line because the bridge was outside the station, very weird. Uh, finally at uh, Orpington and uh, it's not the five minute walk that someone told me it was going to be, it's like, a, <laughs> it's like a mile, it's a 20 minute walk. Oh, for my poor feet after already doing Penge West to Penge East, it's going to be a pain. But uh, yeah, I've got to miss the opening Turn hours. Turn onto Station Ooh. Road A232. Okay, I'll do what you say. <laughs> Hopefully I can find loads of comics. Hopefully it won't be full up when I get there full of, you know, bearded twats like me trying to buy comics cheap. But we'll see when I get there. This is annoying. It's a bloody long walk. And then I couldn't bloody find it. And then I just turned around and seen a sign up there. So there you go. <laughs> fucking here at last. Oh, it's a fucking queue as well. Bollocks. Fuck it. Okay, so I've been in there for quite a while. <laughs> I've managed to, I've managed to, yeah, that was bloody, I got about 60 odd comics. I wasn't able to find 150 that I wanted. <laughs> Otherwise I would have picked them up. But yeah, I'll show you what I got. And it wasn't a massive selection of like bronze or anything, but I've got a few stuff that I needed for my runs anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get home, uh, get my feet out, have a cup of tea, show off some comics. Okay, so what did I get then? I got 63, Comics, I think, uh, and um, I'll show you them later. <laughs> and they cost me like twelve pound forty. So I bought some bags and boards as well to um, you know make up uh, to about thirty quid. So that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, long walk. I put. I think I said all that already in the video. It's tiny little like it looks like a big scout hut is all it was, and it was packed. It was fellas all over the place. So there was about. It was weird, they did it in two ways as well, because the place was quite small, they had a few, like, I don't know, 15 boxes out or something, and everyone was skirting around shoulder to shoulder, you know, getting past each other, it was like, oh, yeah, it was a lot of man-on-man -man flesh action, because you're just walking past people, and I kind of made that comment, and someone said, yeah, you only came for the comic second as a secondary thing, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was all quite good fun, there. no one was elbowing each other or stealing each other's comics, and yeah, it was, it was good stuff. Anyway, so yeah, everything cost me 20p each. So I think this was the one, the way they did it, the first wave when they had so many book comics out. And then when they went outside, they shut the door, they put a load more comics out and they went in for the second wave. So it was like a bit of a scramble, but so there's no elbowing, no kicking, <laughs> no screaming. Right, so just one, this was, um, Basically, I went round the, all the boxes finally, and, um, and then I went round again just because it got a bit quiet, and I thought I'd just double check. This is the one I picked up last, and he just threw this in for nothing, actually. This is comic number 63, and uh, he said, Oh, you can have that one, because I already paid for the first 62. So, yeah, that was cool. Got <laughs> a Superman. Right, now this one, some of most of them for my runs. It wasn't great load uh, for my runs, but it was a few good ones that I'm quite happy with, quite chuffed with. Um, and this one, I saw it, and I wasn't sure if it was a one off or not. And I don't know if you know, my, my my, my partner, my girlfriend, she's a tarot reader, and so she's my like my, my little Madame Xanadu. So I thought I'd pick up a Madame Xanadu to comic, thinking it might be a one shot, but it's not. <laughs> so I've now got another 28 Madame Xanadu comics to collect if I like that first one. Uh, right, a, a Ryan. I'm not really that fussed about collecting him. I've got a few of his comics already, and I thought, well, maybe I'll get them because it was always cheap, and this was only 20p. So yeah, you can only get these in the 50p bin. You know, so I'll be picking those up slowly. I'm not in any rush to get them. Uh, this booster gold one million. I don't. I haven't got that booster gold run. And um, yeah, this is a one-off story, isn't it? The one million uh, issue. So maybe I look into the rest of this run. I'm not too sure what, what this one came in actually. But yeah, I don't mind booster gold. I've got the original '80s booster gold. Right, this is one I picked up. Midnighter. I uh, didn't have this before, but for 20p each. I uh, one, two. 
three, four, and five. And it's written by Garth Ennis, who's always uh, an entertaining writer. Right, around my girlfriend's house in case one people are wondering about a different backdrop to what I normally have. Uh, this one, an annual, I didn't think I had this one, Spy, a Superman annual. Um, I picked it up, I noticed a little bit of a scuff by the, um, by the top staple, and then when I got it home, there's a tear from the top staple to the top of the comic. But I don't care, 20 pence, I'm a low grade, grade kind of guy. The rest of it looks fine. Uh, this one, not a one that I'm collecting, but who knows, maybe I'll try and collect it at some point, because they're all cool covers, all good old silly uh, DC stuff. It's the Super Friends. I've actually got one of these at my uh, that I, I must have picked up when I was a kid. I've got it at home, and uh, I've bagged and boarded it finally. And um, who knows, maybe I'll uh, pick them up if I see them. <laughs> right, number 10 for my X Factor run. Yeah, it wasn't massive... Um, loads that I needed but you know odd one or two here and there this one I thought was a bit of a good buy Hulk 116 for 20 pence yes it does have issues there's a bloody there's a price label on the front also the the rear two sheets have come loose from the staple uh, strangely um, yeah but uh, other than that it's in pretty good nick and for 20 pence for a blinking one 116 from 1969. Yeah, I'm not playing, I'm not complaining about paying 20p for that. Right, this was a uh, world's best comic, just a little sampler of some uh, archive sampler, classics from the Golden Age of Comics for 20p. Yes, I shall pay that all day long. And The Secret Origins starring Justice League of America. I may have that already, I wasn't too sure, but it's in good nick and it was only 20p, so. If it ends up being the double, say, you know, case okay, sarah, sarah. Right, this one, uh, a nice old Superman. Unfortunately, I didn't know this when I picked it up originally, because it's so stuffed in there, I'm trying to get me, read me list and all that kind of thing. And uh, I didn't notice there's a big, big gouge in the cover. The cover's like torn. Uh, and I noticed that at the counter. I was like, oh, that's a shame, that cover's torn. And the guy went to put it away, said, oh, okay, you don't want that. I went, no, 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 I still have it, 20p. I ain't bloody complaining. I'm a low grade guy, I'm quite happy to get that for 20p. <laughs> it's got Clark Kent and Superman on the cover. All right, this was a cool one. Funeral for a Friend number one, The Adventures of Superman. This is the only one I needed in my Superman, Adventures of Superman run, because I've got, I'm not sure what numbers I'm going to, but I've got a run set out of, you know, what we're collecting. And this was the last one that I needed. And I managed to pick it up for 20p. So that's very nice. Yeah, I never realized that I actually started collecting Superman after the death of Superman. That was clever, wasn't it? Most people were collecting the Death of Superman. I remember now, I actually got Death of Superman in a trade paper bag, and that's when I started collecting. So, uh, a couple of for my four run. Just three for my four one. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Four, three, three. Four, 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 three, five. <laughs> I wonder how much four, 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 four is worth. That's got to be worth something, surely. Four, 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 four. <laughs> yeah, and you go hunting for it, and you say, I thought I saw a four, 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 four. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this X Factor should have been on the other X Factor. Uh, never mind. So that's another of my X Factor run. Not far off that one now. 39 for 20p. Can't argue with that. Well, this was another good pickup. Uh, Marvel 2 and 1. I'm not inspected to see if it's got any damage. It's the spine's not in great nick. But it's a Marvel 2 one that I needed. The thing is being defended in court by Max Murdock, the alter ego of Daredevil. And not particularly well defended because uh, he's going down for 20 years. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right, uh, Fantastic Four 298. Unfortunately, that was the only one of Fantastic Four that was there. There's lots of stuff there that I already had the full runs of, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I managed to, well, this is this was uh, the first thing that I found more or less when I got there. I was quite happy with this because I just bought a couple of this run for 50p each a little while back, and then I realised it was a short run. I thought, well, why not? And I managed to get practically the whole run apart from two comics for 20p each. And this is the 1986 Hawkman run. So awesome! There we go. One and two. Three, four, five, and six. Yeah, we're looking particularly potent on the back of that one. 
She's looking well. Poor. Gorgeous and ferocious at the same time. Truly believe that she is not a woman to be messed with. <laughs> right. Uh, Hawkman number seven. My right, eight and nine, I'd already picked up previously for 50p each. Uh, number 10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Right, and the last one of this Hawkman one that I've got so far is number 15. Just need number 16 and number 17, and you know, I am, phew, I'm made up. Uh, I nearly bought a load of Excalibur, because I used to have an Excalibur run, but I swapped him with my mate years ago for his uh, um, Legion 88, was it at the time, or 89, whatever it was at the time. It went changed by year, every year. But uh, the original Legion run, uh, I actually swapped my Excaliburs for them, and I had a good run of Excalibur from number 9 to about number 40. Like a straight run for 20 pence each, I could have picked them up. Then I thought to myself, I was, you know, I'm trying to think of the space that I haven't gotten, you know, and I, I didn't, I didn't pull the trigger. So I could have had number nine to number 40 of Excalibur, but then probably finding number one to number eight would have probably cost me a lot. And I haven't really got the storage spaces it is for everything I want to get. Right, now the rest of this is practically all Legion of Superheroes. So I was able to get a, f a few from my various Legion of Superheroes runs. Didn't look like anyone else was interested in them, which is fine, because I wanted them. So here's number 10 of the 80, early 80s, or mid 80s run. Number 10 from 85. Uh, number 11. Number 12. And number 17 from that Legionnaire run. Probably should have showed, I've shown you the Dav Alderman, and asked me why. Uh, then they've got the, the la slightly later Legionnaires run, a uh, Legion Superhero run, should I say, from about 90 odd. 92, this one is, number 28, 92, so it's about, yeah, about 90, probably started. So 28, 30, 31. Young Legion of Superheroes Romance. <laughs> Interesting. Number 32. Number 33. Right, and then the, I think this was the original Legion of Superheroes run. I think it might start in Adventure Comics, I'm not too sure. But this is the Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. I've got a fair few of this run. Um, still got a fair way to go, but yeah. Cracking on now, cracking on. Soon, soon it'll be filled. <laughs> Couple of Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes, and of course, then it changed its name to just Legion of Superheroes. And after that, came Tales of the Legion of the Superheroes. Now, I know that the later part of that run is uh, reprints, I believe, and I'm not sure what it's reprinting them later ones. Is it reprinting the old, the early ones from the same run? I dare say Roger will know, but I've been collecting all of them, even the tales of. So I may end up having like two lots of the stories, because I've been trying to click the whole run. Um, maybe I shouldn't have collected some of the later ones, but uh, oh well. I uh, also say I bought bags and balls, and I'm much more happy with this size bag and ball than I was with the ones that I picked up online recently. Because they said there was probably Silver Age, and put one Silver Age comic in with the backing board. It was so tight, and I was like, oh, I don't like that. Because any little nick that you've got in the, in the paper, can get caught when you're trying to put it in a tight bag. I'd much rather have a nice loose bag like this. So I've kept the um, the front uh, paper work from the uh, the bags and the board so I know which ones to grab in the future. So, uh, Tales of the Legion of Superheroes now. The Beast might be where it's coming to reprint. I'm not sure what it's reprinting, whether it's reprinting the earlier books from the same run or, I don't know, but uh, maybe Roger can tell us. Maybe I should look at myself. But anyway, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there with this run. I think I might have picked up the very last one of the run. I'm not sure. It was the either the last one or the, pen, or the penultimate one. There's old Wild Star, is it? A no, Wild Fire. I always liked him. I thought it was a good character. Good character. A bit jealous of him, of course, because he gets to go out with... Uh, with um, oh, bloody, I've got her name now. <laughs> the Tracker Lady. <laughs> oh, bam. Dawnstar. Oh, yeah, Dawnstar. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway. <laughs> right. Saint Sigel and the Emerald. Is it the Emerald Queen or Emerald Empress? Is it Emerald Empress? Uh, I think Saint Sigel ends up being somebody else, doesn't she? Alright, a couple more. Oh, uh, this, I think this might be the penultimate one. Oh, this is the final one. Action packed final issue. Towers of the Legion of Superheroes. So. Quite often the last one can be quite expensive, so to get it for 20p, oh yes, I am laughing all day long. Right, they're nearly done. Got an annual from this run, which I don't think I've got. I looked at it and I was like, have I got that? And I thought, you know what, for 20p, I might as well pick it up. And if I haven't got it, then good. And if I have got it, then oh well, I've lost 20p. Oh dear. Right now, these comments I should save until last, I saw these, like, and I'm pretty sure these are worth a lot of, well, some money. And I've looked them up, actually. And when I first picked them up, I didn't look at them. I was like, oh, I've got those already. I've already got both. I've already got all these comics. I picked them up when they first came out. Don't know how. I think my dad picked them, bought me one. I've never seen it before. And I'm like, okay, so I'll try and get the rest of them. I ended up managing to get the rest eventually. Anyway, so this is, um, and this, this creator ended up working for DC and uh, I think made, made Marvel as well, got very popular. And now he's not quite so popular because he's, you know, that comic skate, whatever that's all about. Uh, apparently he's all up to his uh, elbows in that and uh, I'm not quite sure what that's about, so I kind of ignored that. But anyway, it's um, Ethan Van Skyver's Cyber Frog. And I thought, these, I actually I picked him up for 20 but I just picked him up. And I thought, oh, well, actually this might be worth a bit of money because I know there was, you know, some of them are quite maybe sought after. And I've looked up some of the prices on eBay for these, and even on the um, uh, mycomicshop.com, this Cyberfrog Zero in 7.5 is going out for $50. And this, to me, is, I reckon this is probably a nine. I reckon this is a nine. This is a, this is a good, and it's, I think it's the B cover as well. I can't remember, I did look up some of them, and some of them were B covers, which seemed to command a, a better price than the A covers. So this is Cyberfrog Zero. This is Cyberfrog number one. I so say I've already got these, so if anyone's interested in these, hit me up. Now, I don't get many uh, people from the English community. Uh, there's not many people in the English comic community anyway, but um, if there's any anyone in the American comic community, I'm sure we, yeah, we can work out a price if anyone's interested in these. Just hit me up on Instagram or message me here or check out my link for my Facebook page, which is normally down below. So this is the Cyber Frog Reservoir Frog and these are the B covers as well. Pretty sure that I saw one site selling this, not even slabbed, for 200 quid. I'm sure, and I was like, no way. And I was looking at it thinking, am I, am I looking at this wrong? This one's got a tiny little tick at the bottom here, slightly color breaking. You can barely see it in the black if I can just hold it up. Can you see it there? So, yeah, and this is what's called the trench coat cover, apparently, which is seemingly more. And this one, I think, was, I can't remember now, I think that was going for a few bob as well. So, I'm like, wow, I think these comics, if, I did, if these are worth a bit of money, or any money, really, then they pay, uh, this haul was paid for itself. Plus, plus even for maybe my next haul as well. <laughs> so if anyone has got an idea on the price of those, or is interested in those, then, you know, hit me up and uh, see what we can sort out. Even posted to America. Postage from England to America is not as bad as postage from America to, to England. So if, you, if postage is putting you off, then you know, get in touch and I can find out how much it will cost. If you are interested, if you're not interested, don't worry, just leave a comment anyway and say, hey, you're super, I love you, and that kind of thing. And uh, you're a handsome devil and that kind of stuff. You know, the usual comments that you people leave on my videos. <laughs> oh no. That's not the usual comments, is it? Anyway, I'm out of here because I've shown you my comics and I don't need to be around here anymore. But uh, thanks for watching and um, i going to shout out a small channel, Comic Mag Musings, I think is the... I'm trying to remember the next comic uh, channel on my list of comic channels to shout out is. I'm pretty sure it's Comic Mag Musings. I believe that's what it's called. Um, the link will be up here or up here, one of these two corners. You must sub them up. You must go and watch some of their videos, you must make a comment, that kind of thing, you know. Show some comic community camaraderie, go and show some love, some sub love, as we like to call it in these parts of the world. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm off. And uh, until next time, may all your news be good news. If you don't go and sub, Comic Mag Musings, this baseball bat's going to give your face some abusings.